can be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. The contrary will say no. The ayes have it. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. Order. Votes are taken in silence. I'll ask the clerk to conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labor. No. 43 votes in favour. Green Party. Nine votes opposed. Act New Zealand. Five votes in favour. Māori Party. <coughs> Progressive. One vote in favour. United Future. One vote in favour. <coughs> Members, the ayes are 113, the noes are 9. The motion is agreed to. Rugby World Cup 2011 Empowering Bill First Reading. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr. Speaker, I move that the Rugby World Cup 2011 Empowering Bill be considered by the Government Administration Committee. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. The ayes have it. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr. Speaker, following discussion at the Business Committee earlier today, I seek leave for the House to sit on the ringing of the bells on Tuesday, the 29th of June 2010. Leave a sort for that purpose. Is there any objection? No. There is objection. It's a business committee decision. I'll ask the member to put it again. Now, Mr Speaker, I seek leave uh, uh, following discussions at the business committee today uh, for the House to sit on the ringing of the bells on Tuesday, the 29th of June 2010. And is leave a sort for that purpose? Is there any objection? There is no objection. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, further to a business committee decision today, I seek leave for the bills divided from the statutes amendment bill at committee stage to be set down for third reading forthwith. Leave a sort for that purpose. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, uh, I move that urgency be accorded the second reading and remaining stages of the financial service providers, pre-implementation adjustments bill and any bill into which that bill may be divided, the passing through all stages of the Civil Aviation Cape Town Convention and other matters amendment bill, and the policing involvement in local authorities election, local authority elections amendment bill, the second reading and remaining stages of the prisoners and victims claims expiry and application dates amendment bill, the interrupted First reading of the Tariff New Zealand Hong Kong China Closer Economic Partnership Agreement Amendment Bill, the second reading and remaining stages of the Tariff Malaysia Free Trade Agreement Amendment Bill, the second reading of the Motor Vehicle Sales Amendment Bill and the Taxation Annual Rates Trans Tasman Savings Portability Kiwi Saver and Remedial Matters Bill, the committee and third reading of the Residential Tenancies Amendment Bill and the second reading of the Insurance Prudential Supervision Bill. Mr Speaker, uh, some weeks ago I advised the Business Committee that in this week we'd be likely to uh, put the House into urgency to consider uh, a number of bills that were on the order paper and that were needing to, be, to make progress in order to meet a July 1st implementation date. <coughs> Mr Speaker, uh, the list that I've just read was circulated to all parties uh, early in the week um, and I understand that uh, uh, while parties won't necessarily afford the government urgency, there is uh, considerable support for most of the bills that are on this piece of legislation, uh, in this urgency motion. One of the problems the House faces is the limited hours that we have actually to deal with legislation, and successive governments have wrestled with this. Um, I've put a motion on the order paper uh, that may or may not be considered by the House at some time to create some extra space. Uh, but in the meantime, it's been uh, 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 my hope that the Business Committee itself may be able to uh, take a, a, a stronger role in deciding which bills might progress through urgency motions of this nature. So without prejudice to the Government's right to take urgency for any uh, matter that, uh, that uh, it sees fit, um, I think having a greater discussion about some of these things, uh, better notification of some of these things, will allow for the proper debate that the House should have.
Members, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. no. The ayes have it. No. Oh, party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 43 votes opposed. Green Party. 9 votes opposed. Act New Zealand. 5 in favour. Māori Party. Tokori mei tautukwana. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote in favour. Members, the ayes are 69, the noes are 53. The motion is agreed to. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave for there to be a question time at 2pm on Wednesday the 23rd of June and on Thursday the 24th of June 2010 and for questions to be lodged in the normal manner pursuant to Standing Order 372, notwithstanding the fact that the House is in urgency. Is there any objection to that course of action being followed? There is no objection. Call on Government Order of the Day number three. Financial Services.